And Stu, how are you today, sir? <laughs> Hello, Stu. Double intro. What's uh, what, what's the special occasion with the double intro? Well, what do you get the invoice? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, guys? Good. How are you? Well, you know what? Uh, you know, getting into hockey mode. Can't complain at all. So, so what do you do to, to limber up? Do you do you do, do you listen to old highlights? Do you do you try and change things? I mean, how does a play by play announcer limber up? Well, you know, I, I don't do too much limbering up, but you've seen me, right? I could probably uh, <laughs> uh, drop a few pounds. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> basically, you know, training camp is, is uh, you know, you, you don't do play-by-play for training camp, but it, it's a great way to get to know some of the guys that, you know, for the most part, you've never seen before. So you get a chance to see them, kind of converse with them, um, you know, when they're off the ice. And, and that's probably the best way to, uh, you know, to kind of get ready for a new season. Yeah, and I mean, when you look at uh, the the roster of, of guys who who could be back and guys who will be back, I mean, there are a lot of questions that are that are still to be answered. What what did the the tournament in Buffalo kind of did it answer any questions we may have had heading into the year? Well, you know what, that's uh, you know, I think that was a very good tournament for the Bulldogs to take part in because you've got a you know a, a new head coach, uh, Dave Matzos, who has been a coach in the league before, but for the Hamilton Bulldogs is is a new head coach. He's got a lot of new players on the roster. I counted no less than 11 rookies that were on the Bulldogs roster for the, uh, you know, the OHL showcase that was held down in Buffalo on the Labor Day weekend. So, you know, it's a great chance. It accomplishes a few things. That uh, you know, it gives Matzos and the, his coaching staff a chance, you know, to see what some of these young guys can do. For the guys themselves, you know, guys that are putting on an OHL jersey for the first time a great opportunity to play some pretty high-level hockey at this time of year and get some of the jitters that they might have, get them out and, and, you know, get it over with and and get on with training camp and get ready for the regular season. So, you know, it's early in in training camp and it's early in the preseason, but I think, you know, the three games that the Bulldogs played, they they didn't manage to pull out a victory, a two one-goal losses and a a 5-2 loss. But overall, I think it was a very good exercise. Stu, uh, I mean, there were some guys there that are going to go to NHL camps. Uh, that kind of caught me off guard. Is that a normal thing? Yeah, this is usually the time that the NHL, uh, they have their rookie camps. So, you know, guys go off. Some of them, of course, are draft picks. I'm just going over the list right now. And the Hamilton Bulldogs have 13 players that, of course, some could be former Hamilton Bulldogs by the time the season rolls around. But 13 are off to uh, NHL rookie camps. And you've got all kinds of tournaments. Of course, you've got the annual you know, Traverse City Tournament in Michigan that, that takes place. Eight teams are taking part in that. Vegas is hosting a tournament this year. You've got something out west as well. So guys are spread out all over North America. And uh, 13 Bulldogs are, are going to be away at these uh, NHL rookie camps over the next uh, week to 10 days. Arthur Kaliev will not be because he is a, a 2019 draft eligible player, and he had a great weekend in Buffalo, leading the team in points with a goal and four assists in the three games. Uh, do you feel like Arthur Kaliev's ready to kind of take his game to the next level, which is saying something for a 30 goal scorer as a 16 year old last year? I think he really is. I think he had a great summer. He had a couple of experiences at the you know U.S. camps and getting ready. He's got another one coming up in a couple of weeks that he's going to be taking. It's kind of like the, the CHL prospect game, but for American players only. So he's going to get some more high-level competition at that. I think, uh, you know, obviously, Arthur Kelly of going into his draft year, uh, there's no secret that, you know, he's projected to be a first-round pick next June in the NHL draft. But from what we saw last year, and even what we saw in the few days of training camp here in Hamilton, and then the three games he played down in Buffalo, I think this kid is, is relatively, really ready to break out and no secrets now he's not going to surprise anybody or sneak up on anybody but uh, Arthur Kelly seems to be able to handle that pretty well for a young hockey player. Stu as you were saying that I sort of did a replay of the playoff run that uh, the Bulldogs had en route to the OHL championship thinking of the Sioux, Kingston, uh, Niagara in Ottawa. Uh, Who is the biggest competition for the Bulldogs this year? Is there any sort of change at the top or the usual suspects? I think you're going to see, uh, you know, I think the Niagara Ice Dogs maybe on paper right now might be the team to beat. I think Oshawa is going to be uh, much improved, as will the Ottawa 67s. So you look at those teams, uh, you know, that we just mentioned, and and the Bulldogs saw those teams in the playoffs uh, this past year. So, you know, I think those are the teams that, you know, at least should 
take the next step. And I think that's going to be uh, the main competition for the Bulldogs going forward. And, you know, a lot can happen. And we don't know what team the Hamilton Bulldogs are going to put on the ice when the, the season opens up on the 21st in North Bay. But, uh, you know, we'll get a pretty good op- we'll, we'll have a pretty good idea once we get into October, early November as to what direction this hockey team is going to go in. Uh, Stu, you mentioned the the eleven rookies that, that took part in the uh, in the tournament in Buffalo. You look at the roster; uh, there are names that that you know, jump out at you. First round pick Logan Morrison, and then there are other names who you're thinking who. And Avery Hayes is one of those. But he had a great camp, and Frank Jenkins had a, a great goal uh, over the weekend. Uh, what do you think their impact on this team will be? Yeah, I think Logan Morrison. Uh, you know, you, we've heard a lot about him. We finally got a chance to really see him in action. I thought he had a, a great training camp and. And he performed pretty well down in Buffalo as well. But you mentioned a couple of other names that kind of stood out. Avery Hayes certainly did stand out uh, during training camp. You know, Michael Renwick, who the, the Bulldogs signed earlier this summer, looked pretty good. DJ King is going to be an interesting uh, player to watch as the season progresses. Boy, he's got a big, big body. You know, DJ King, you look at him, and 6'3", 215 pounds. And there was some talk that the Bulldogs might have had him last season, but that things just didn't work out that way. But, you know, he's committed to the team and is looking forward to uh, playing in the Ontario Hockey League. So those are some of the some of the newcomers that we're going to see on the Bulldogs roster this season. And a couple of others that, uh, you know, kind of Dylan D'Agostino, of course, who we saw a little bit of last year. He, he's likely, I'm not for sure, but he has a good opportunity to make the hockey club. And they also picked up a free agent, Liam Stevens, a draft pick of the Guelph Storm, who played last year in the uh, Quebec Major Junior Hockey League. He kind of surprised everybody at camp, but A, just because Liam Stevens, everyone said, yeah, that name sounds familiar. Who is this kid? And then when you see his background, a couple of years with Guelph and then another year in the Quebec League. So he's not a young guy. He's more of a veteran that uh, could play a big role on the team. Stu, thanks for... Uh... Thanks for stopping by. I got a little choked up that we're, you know, the conversation is over. I mean, she's having so much fun. It's okay, Jim. I'll, I'll be up at the studio soon and we'll see a lot more of each other. So, you know, just take it easy. And, uh, yeah, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Okay, Stu. Thanks. <laughs> thanks, Dale. Stu Kernan, play by play voice care. of the Hamilton Bulldogs here on TSN 1150 Hamilton. It was darn Niagara Ice Ducks. Yeah, again, see? Uh, he came rocking and right out of his mouth. Not, they could be the I team knew, to beat. I knew he was, was going to go there, too. And if you'd asked me, if you asked me that question, out of principle, I just wouldn't say the Niagara Ice Ducks. Just out of principle. K9 Cup. Uh, it's, regular season trophies are nice. Let's talk about the playoffs. That's, oh, that's where it matters. You're gonna, you're gonna, you know? you're gonna regular, hammer. You've got no, a year no, to hammer no. that hey, one. Hey, hey, hey! You hey. know what? They yeah. can they can celebrate the K9 Cup. It's theirs. They earned it. They won the season series. The regular season, season series, regular season series. Season wow, series. I'm trying to figure it out. Yeah, sort of undermine the, the whole point. The postseason season series. Yeah, was, uh, the, was the Bulldogs. So. so what you're saying is, if you win the K9 Cup, you could be barking up the wrong tree. 